Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. We're back with another video. It's Mark the Messenger. This one's gonna be about God's role for a woman. And I will be doing one for men um, sometime this coming week. This is a well-requested video, so I'm excited to make this. Everything I'm going over, I'm backing it up with the Bible. So if you disagree, you don't, you're not disagreeing with me, you're disagreeing with God. Always remember that. All right, first one up is submission. Okay, submission. All right, this is important, submitting to your husband, your head, and as he is submitted to Christ. Now, like I said, I'm gonna make one for the man too sometime next week, but this is in Ephesians chapter five, verse 22. So it says, wives, submit yourself into your own husbands as unto the Lord. So that's all order. Okay, when you're, when you're following God's order, success, blessings, peace, most importantly, peace will come into it. So you wanna make sure you're submitted to your husband um, when you're in your flesh, it's going to be very hard to submit to your husband. When you're operating in the flesh, living in the flesh, you're not going to see any need to. Uh, you're going to rebel against your husband. That's why it's important to be sober, which I should have put that up, but there is no space. But sober is important. Uh, yeah, so submission is important for your, um, uh, as a, uh, one of the roles for a woman. So next one up will be motherhood. This is something that they don't really teach us. So this is in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, I'm going to read 14 to 15, but it says, And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in, tra was in the transition. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved. Wow, wow. She shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, charity, and holiness with soberity. Okay, so she shall be saved with childbearing. Okay, that's important. We live in a society today where like people, not everybody, but some people will demonize you for having children. Uh, especially if you're having children at a young age, you're getting married at a young age, they're going to call you weird and strange. But always keep in mind that the Bible calls us chosen ones, peculiar people, which means we're, to the people of the world, we're strange because we're doing things in God's orders. But best believe when they see you doing things in God's order and they're calling you weird and strange and you continue to stay on the right path God has placed you and your husband on, you're going to be blessed. And they're going to now look up to you like, you know, what did you do to do that? So it's all, it's all how it is. It's, that's how it is. So don't even get mad or um, feel some type of way that the people of this world are like looking down on you. So always make sure you want to be, you know, especially do this at a young age because the older you get, the harder it is to get a man. So um, if you're beautiful at a young age, you see a man doing his thing on his purpose, on a narrow path, y'all should link up. Okay, next, <laughs> next one. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Next one up is modesty okay this is in uh one timothy chapter 2 verse 9 so it says in in the like manner also that the woman adorns themselves and modest appear with shame facedness with and soberity and with broad hair or or gold or pearls or costly arrays so we, when you look at social media it's like everyone not everyone but most people are always showing off their body but you should be if you want to dress like that it should just be you and your husband like in the house chilling there's nothing wrong with that but when you're allowing every other man to see that like uh, the man that you're gonna be with is not, not gonna really i'm just keeping y'all keeping it real he's not gonna really value that much because you're showing everything off to for men for free you know like back in the days the how the woman dressed like today the modern woman just like today and how they dress like you know 40 50 years ago it clearly sees that there's an agenda and satan's pushing these certain clothing for women to wear and see when the man when 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 satan takes out the husband the man in the household then this pattern is going to repeat. So that's why I said in the beginning of this video, it's important to be following God's orders because that's how there's no corruption. When there's no man, there's no head, then the corruption happens. So uh, modesty is key. You don't want man busting after you because yes, that man is going to be held accountable, but also you will too because you cause them to do it. So you cause them to sin. Both parties will be held accountable. So you want to make sure you're dressing up modestly, uh, respecting your body, respecting the Lord, you know, and or if you have a husband, respecting your husband. Next one up will be keepers at home. All right, this is in Titus chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. This one says that, that they may teach the younger woman to be sober and to love their husbands, to, to love their children, and to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemy. Okay, I have another Bible verse too that just came to mind. This is in the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. So it says that, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house, 
Now she is without, now in the streets and lie away every corner. It's funny how, you know, every, the people the people say like, oh, she's for the streets, she's for the streets, right? This Bible version says, now she is without, now in the streets. Wow. And lie away at every corner. So um, her feet, the harlot, her feet doesn't abide at the house. Always trying to go out, always trying to go to the club every weekend. She, she just like this, you know, being low key, uh, being an introvert. You know, staying in she, she, that that type of person, you brothers. I'm gonna make a video for that next, um, pretty soon. You do not a woman who's not trying to get down with this type of program. Red flag, bro. Red flag. All right, next one up. Oh, also, uh, speaking of a uh, home, this is in the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 41. It says that the foolish woman tears it. Uh, the, every wise woman bu builds her house, but the foolish will tuck it, will uh, tear it down with their own hands. Okay. So it's very important that as a woman, you have wisdom, you inherit wisdom and you're being led by, you know, wisdom because the Holy Spirit comes with wisdom. So it's very important that you're being led by wisdom, not being led by your feelings, your emotions, what you feel is right. And I understand being a weak vessel, it is hard. I understand that. But when you operate foolishly, you could tear down what a man was building for, for you guys, for your foundation. You could just tear down. He's been building for 10, 20 years and you could just tear down in one day, you know, by being foolish. So always want to be wise and always think twice. Don't operate off of your feelings and emotions. Operate off the Holy Spirit, which will lead you to what you need to be doing. OK, so that's key. And that's why being sober is very, very important, because, like I said, when you're not sober, you can open up demonic spirits to work through you and to get to your husband, to get to your children, stuff like that. So you always want to make sure that you're being sober. OK, next one up is quietness. This is in uh, 2 Timothy chapter. Chapter uh, 11, verse 12. So it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the men, but to be in silence. OK, so women are allowed to teach other women and their children, but they're not allowed to teach a man. Nowadays, you see women wanting to be a man, wanting to take authority over a man. And when a woman does that, she doesn't understand that she's operating under the spirit of Jezebel. So that's why you notice like. The elder woman, they kind of have more respect because they, they, they've been in age. They understand their role. But the younger woman, they still battling that Jezebel spirit. Let's say they've been delivered from that spirit uh, and they have some residue still on them. So always want to make sure that you see a man, the most high, that's walking in, in the spirit of truth and you're trying to teach him. That's that's go That's off. <laughs> that's off. OK, so always be humble and, you know, no one to be quiet, no one to speak and no one to be quiet. Next one up is beauty. Okay, so this is in the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 30. I know you might be saying beauty. Let me read, let me, let me read this. Okay, so, so it says, Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Okay, she shall be praised. And I know a lot of, especially the younger ones, the Bible says that your youth is vanity. You notice how it's mostly the younger women who have a face full of makeup, eyelashes, uh, BBLs, and you know stuff like that. You notice how mostly women in their 40s and their 50s, they don't really do that. Not to say that they don't put on makeup and do that type of stuff, but it's very less. It's mostly the woman in her 20s. So always understand that your beauty is vain and, and, it, and it, it goes away. You're going to be you're going to be you're not going to be young forever. That's why I said at the beginning of this video, when you're young, you should be seeking a husband then because the older you get, the harder it is to get married. It's harder to have children. So um, don't let the be don't become vain. Don't become you know too vain where you're no earthly good. When you're no earthly good and you're just you and and that, and that spirit of vain that's the vain vanity the spirit of vanity it is a lot a strong in a lot of women okay like you don't have to compete against your sister you don't have to compete against nobody but yourself okay so always keep that back in your mind you know going out and taking trips you know showing off your body that's all vanity okay so you know, yes, you could be beautiful. You could, you could have, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But just understand that it is vain. You want to make sure that you're serving the Lord. It says, check this out. She that feared the Lord shall be saved. Or sorry, sorry, shall be praised. My fault. She that feared the Lord shall be praised. Okay, so if you want to be praised, I know Eve, the deal she made with the devil, she wanted to become like God. She wanted to be worshipped. She wanted to be praised. Okay, if you want to be praised, fear the Lord. Okay. Next one up is a helpmate and to be a wife. Oh, yes. Genesis chapter two, verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good for the man that he should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. 
Okay, so a woman's supposed to help a man. So whatever the man got doing, whatever uh, he's building for the kingdom, a woman's supposed to be supportive of his dreams, his goals, whether he has nothing or whether he has everything. You know, nowadays when a man doesn't really have much, a woman kind of looks down on him, but you're supposed to help build him. If, a man, if you see a man working hard, he's not slothful in his work, and you see he's elevating, he's trying to, you should help him. You know, but the most women, they want the, they want the final product. And see, a man doesn't respect a woman who was there, who wasn't there when he was building, you know, who just wants to come in. You know, a man's going to think twice before he deals with that type of woman because a lot of people are opportunists. So if you see a man at the bottom or at least, you know, elevating and he's not there yet, don't be afraid to say what's up. Hit him up in his DMs. Uh, show love. <laughs> you know, don't be afraid. OK. All right. So, yeah, be helping. Be a, be a wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, Proverbs or uh, Proverbs. Genesis chapter two, verse 24 or chart. Genesis chapter 2, verse 22 to 24. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, made he a woman and brought her into the man. And Adam said, this is my bone. This is now a bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, but she was because she was taken out of a man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and he shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Okay, they shall be one flesh. And the next one up is support the brothers pushing this truth yes i was actually just saw, read this bible verse uh, i mean i've read the bible multiple times but this really caught my eyes so check this out this is in romans chapter 16 verse 1 to 2 i command unto you uh why i'm not sure if i'm saying their name right or i'll leave a verse somewhere up here uh our sister which is a servant of the church which is at Galatians. i don't know how to pronounce the, the cities and the names that you may receive her in the lord as become its saints and that you assist her in whatsoever business she had need of you. For she have been a succorer of many and myself also. So the woman back then, they supported the, even though they weren't their husbands, they supported the man who's pushing up the truth. Okay. They, and I had a sister who back when I was street preaching, she, she bought me um, a street preaching sign. Shout out to Elizabeth. I'm not sure if she still watches my videos, but I'll never forget that. She so loved, man. So I appreciate that. And, you know, I was, you know, doing my thing out, preaching the, preaching the word of God. And she was supporting me. So it was nothing new under the sun. Uh, Pelicians chapter four, verse three. I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help the, those women which labored with me in the, in the gospel, with Clement also, and with others, my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Okay, so the man, the woman, they labored together. So uh, like I said, it doesn't have to just be your, your wife, your husband. You know, if you see your brother doing this thing and he's helping you, you know, support him. Not just, not just in the internet, but also in real life too. Our next one up is to respect her husband. Okay, this is in um, Ephesians, or actually, um, I think I missed one. Oh yeah, I missed quietness. I missed quietness. Sorry, let me read this one real quick. So this is in one uh, Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse thirty-four to thirty-five. This is a verse that no one really talks about, but it says that let your woman keep silence in the church, churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be un under obedience, as also said the law. And if any will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. Guys, okay, I, I forgot to say that right here. But uh, next one up will be speak with wisdom. This is a good one, man. And this is what a lot of people need. Okay. Um, wisdom, with man or woman. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Okay. I'm, and the video I'm going to make for the brothers tomorrow or some other time soon, I'm, I'm going to be talking about wisdom too as well. So this is Proverbs chapter 31, verse 26 says, she opened her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is a law of kindness. So wisdom and I'll put kind too. Of course, my marker is, oh, <laughs> it's, it's died, it died, <laughs> it died, so I'm done with that. Anyways, so, um, Ephesians chapter uh, five, verse 33, respect her husband. Yes. Never, uh, nevertheless, let every one of you in particular, so love his wife, even as himself and the, and the wife see that she respect her husband. Okay, so this is the God's role for woman. Submission. I block out the motherboards in the beginning, but you can always just fast forward for future references. All right. Sub uh, submission, motherhood, modesty, keepers at home, quietness, beauty, uh, soberity, uh, helpmate, be, uh, become a wife, uh, support the brothers pushing the truth, uh, respect your husband, and speak with wisdom and kind. My marker died and I just flew it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have already, make sure you guys, if you made this far, please like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and if you guys wish, share this video too. 
on all your social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.